Hey, Matt here. So I wanted to talk about the Scrapeboard Account Creator and all of the uh, elements that are involved with that. Um, so this is the actual Create Form Accounts button, which is right here. Uh, again, before we jump in, proxies, have your proxies set up here, and then the settings, use uh, proxies when available. We'll use proxies for this. Uh, since we're here, let's talk about connections for a minute. Connections and timeouts, you'll see your connection for the account creator right here, along with this timeout. Connections for the account activator and its timeouts, and then email settings over here. Um, I'm just using the default emails here, or the default settings rather, which are fine um, for this. And then the uh, CAPTCHA setup, you can set up DCAPTCHA services. Um, and then you can use actual manual image and text captcha solving and then you could also use the cloud database for text captchas so this is what what happens here is whenever you use the manual text captcha solving and you actually punch in captchas and they're correct they get uploaded into a cloud database and when others do the same thing they get uploaded into a cloud database and then everyone gets to use that and it matches them up and it can solve captchas based on um, the database where other people have punched in the captchas and gotten them correct and then that's pretty much it for this except for delete emails activation emails from the server if you wanted to not clog up your email server you can have it delete them after it retrieves them so let's talk about the actual create form account setup so up here this is where you would punch in information about you know for creating the form account so I have a login name uh, red widget man uh, picked up a random password um, my home page and then my web page which is generally if you're creating forum profiles for the most part this is the information that's going to show with your anchor and your website um, if you're going to go ahead and create posts actual posts you know you want that information would links would probably be in your signature unless you put them in the post and on some forums um, and some setups, the signature setup might show up here in your profile as well. This is your contact information here. I just threw in an MSN thing, redwidgetmanatlive.com, put in an avatar which you can load and clear here. Um, and you can get those just with a quick Google search or use your own. Date of birth, uh, we'll just use the default which is May 5th, 1980. You can uh, save these. Um, off this whole set of, inf set of information you can save it off and you can load it and then of course you can clear it then um, I skipped the email part there for a second so let's talk about emails for a second you're gonna have to have an email account to do this because what happens is on a lot of forms when you set up they're going to ask you they're gonna send you a verification email to make sure that your email is a legitimate email Scrapeboard will open up that email and click that verification link and then activate your account for you however you're gonna to have to have a valid email account in here so this is a real email address now they also recommend in the help file that you do not use things like Gmail um, and free email services like that because a lot of times those are blocked by default so you can go ahead and punch in your actual email information here um, you can also hit more and then you can test your current email account you can edit email accounts because you can have multiple and then you can import e email details from a cPanel reg file so if you don't know what that is I'll show you here because this is by far one of the easiest ways to do to get information in here you just hit import hit the file and it brings it in so let's open up here I am in cPanel and let's just create an email address we'll just call it red red widget man at scrapeboardfact.com I'm just gonna use the password generator to generate a password now it's important that you have this password and that you save it because you're going to need it so I usually just um, I have a nice Excel spreadsheet where I store everything off but for the sake of this we'll just throw it in a quick notepad file so that we have it and can go back to it and let's I have copied my password to a safe place yes use password and then um, you can leave whatever here and let's create the account so it created the account red widget man and then down here you can see the actual account now of course this setup could totally vary based on your cPanel and your theme and that sort of thing but generally speaking you should be able to get through this um, if you go over here to more we can configure an email client and then I'm just gonna go ahead and choose something here I just chose Outlook pop 
pop three access and then it'll give you a bunch of uh, pop-ups this doesn't have anything to do with the actual necessity of what we're doing here um, this is information if you were going to use this file to set up an actual like setup outlook we're not we're just going to import it into scrape board so you can just click through those I'm going to go ahead and save it and then I'm using just a download manager here so um, you would just use a normal browser download and uh, I'm going to go ahead and save it here into email and click OK start wait for this to uh, finish downloading and away we go so then when we go back to scrapeboard here let's get out of that we will have this email an import email from a cPanel reg file and I am gonna go find that here and red widget man here we just click on that and boom it brings in our email address our mail server the port and the username for that uh, setup now the password that we saved in our notepad file for now again I suggest a better organized system than notepad file though it would work uh, it's better it works it's effective throw the password in there and then I'm just gonna go ahead and save these details and um, we're just gonna save them to great board vid yes and uh, since I have it saved I don't need that anymore and so now we have our email account set up and everything else set up and we could go ahead and hit test and test the email account set up and then Scrapeboard will run through the actual uh, email test. Email seems to be working just fine. Perfect. So now that our email account is working, we need to do some account creation. So first we need form URLs, which I have already saved off that I've already scraped. So let's import those and go in here to projects and just load those up got 56 down here try not to do too many so that it wouldn't take too long in the video here and then um, I have options here as far as create accounts only when profiles are public if you're making uh, forum profiles then some forums hide their uh, your actual forum profile unless you're logged in which does no good generally speaking because when Google sees that page it's not going to be logged in and it won't see your link so this when they're public is when you don't have to be logged in to see them they're just public for everyone so Scrapeboard can actually test those ahead of time before it creates the account and it just won't create the account if that is the case then you can have a delay for the fetcher and that sort of thing there's uh, the simple easy mode which is one click account creation Scrapeboard will do everything to activate your accounts you can also do advanced mode where you can create the form accounts in step one then you can fetch the emails and then you can actually activate the accounts the one click creation does all of that for you in a row automatically and then of course abort and clear list that sort of thing so let's do one click account creation and let Scrapeboard do its thing here so it's gonna go through here default is 10 connections and it's first identifying the platform these are view bulletin then you can see the status over here and whether or not it has captcha um, and you can go through here and see this account was immediately activated email activation required so that'll be taken care of in the next step this one had a text captcha that wasn't solved from the cloud database um, these accounts are activated email activation required um, and some of these when I um, messed with these testing before a lot of them had text captures so all these that say account activated or email activation required Scrapeboard's already been able to figure out the captcha on those so 37 accounts are activated and then um, they're ready to roll and activated and Scrapeboard went ahead and did everything for us so what happens here is um, in that folder that we had saved which is let me see if I can pull it up here here it is uh, this is the file I loaded Scrapeboard vid so that is my list of URLs that I scraped earlier with Scrapeboard uh, that I loaded up and imported over here what Scrapeboard does is it automatically creates two files here this SBACC file this is just a text file that um, let me get in here and we'll show you it's a text file that contains encoded information and you can go up here to help and read the help documentation and figure out what all this is but basically it goes through here and it gives you the form what form it is it uses numbers and then your username and password and your ID and that sort of thing so that is a text file this 
um, SBAAC file, which is here, and it took away the ACC. Here it is, SBACC. That is accounts that are activated, activated accounts. The scrapeboard vid SBEMA, this is email activation is what the EMA stands for. So these are accounts that require email activation. So if you're working through this create form accounts button, when you hit create form accounts, anything that scrapeboard is able to immediately create, it'll put here. Anything that requires email activation is going to be this SBEMA file, and that's where you would utilize these other options down here. But in the one click account creation, it's already going to take care of stuff for it, but it creates those files along the way. Also important to note is that it went ahead and created it inside of the same folder I had it there. So I loaded this one and it created these two files automatically in the same folder. So I put all of my projects in separate folders for Scrapeboard, um, or at least uh, give them unique names. That way uh, all my files are working in the same spot and I don't get confused. So now that I have my accounts that are created, we can go on and do other things with them like create forum profiles or create posts or that sort of thing um, but these actual uh, accounts right here and I think it said 37 accounts are created and go through here and those I have instant forum profiles uh, or instant accounts with all of these I haven't actually created the forum profiles but we'll do that in a different video and so that's pretty much the account creator in a nutshell, load your information, you can save and load off, import your email or manage it, import your files that you've scraped, and then uh, go to town either with the advanced mode or the uh, individual mode, and then Scrapeboard automatically creates the uh, files necessary in the same folder and does everything for you.